you know, I've been checking out a lot of videos online where you see tons of information about building generational wealth, creating money for your legacies, and I've seen videos. And we're going to do, I'm doing a lot more videos on this, you know, on Mr. Short Dollar as well, on other YouTube channel, uh, about people who are saying they left this for their kids, they're building these different accounts and trusts and all this other stuff for the children. I want to say this as a parent with four sons, two adults, one's Ivy League graduate, and I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in life uh, um, right now. And I think it's real cool to say what you would, what you will do when you don't have the money. And a lot of times people focus on, you know, certain things because pretty much they don't have it and they, don't, and they want to help children have a better life. But I will say this is that when you focus so much on building a certain thing for your children, leaving this legacy, you're assuming that they are going to want that. And as a father of two adult children, very smart young men, and, you know, two heading out of the house, uh, they haven't really latched on with the stuff that I have. And, you know, again, you're talking about a, a, a damn accountant, um, finance background and everything like that. Sharp young men. But, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Their interests are their interests. But I want to say this to any parent, if you're looking to, hey, build a certain thing and have these things in place for your children, don't do it at the sacrifice of you, okay? I did that, and I don't have any re regrets or anything like that because I learned from it, and I can share this with other people. Don't assume that they're going to be able to handle that. It's funny. I remember when my grandparents uh, passed, they actually left you know, real estate to me, but everybody else got insurance money. The thing of it is, it's just like they probably known who really was going to keep it or not. And you know with your children, the ones that are actually going to take care of certain things, the ones that are going to blow through money or whatever. I'm at the point now in life, I say that, you know, I get, I can give you, instead of be focused on giving you this million dollars or whatever, uh, or bring my name to save up all this money, I can give you a million dollars in game. And you choose what to deal with it. Of course, you know, I, I leave things to my children and everything like that. But trust me, I'm going to enjoy life. And I say this to say, don't be in such a focus to build so much for other people. Love your children. Raise your children. But most importantly, educate and impart on them. Impart, you know, the knowledge that you have because at the end of the day, you don't know what they're going to do with it. Right? You don't know. And instead of you making so many sacrifices for things down the road that you can't control, you know, just do what you can do. Make sure that they, <laughs> you know... They've been versed with certain things, but I'm, I'm telling you, as a, as a parent, as you know, that's built and, and building and, and got enough stuff for them to be okay with. Uh, I'm not going to just break my neck to just leave this kind of stuff. The ones that I know going to do right with certain things, I leave them that. The ones that I know are fine enough with just you know acquiring knowledge, I'm gonna do that. But I'd be damned if I'm gonna sit here and make sacrifice for myself to build for my children's children. And I don't know what the hell they're going to be interested in, okay? Just something to think about, guys. Hey, 